It's time for FTV News with your anchors and the entire FTV News team. Good morning, Good morning Opus, and welcome to Falcon, Falcon TV. TV. Today is Tuesday, October 24th. I'm Alana, and joining me on the show today is Connor and Nico. The Student Council is working to have several contests for the second biggest holiday of the year, Halloween. The annual Halloween dress-up contest will be Tuesday, where you can be creative and original, but you can't have mask, wep weapons, or s dress too scantily. You can go as a cop. Just not a sexy cop. How about new? Because school rules still apply. Starting today, student council is kicking off their first annual door decorating contest for every first period class here at Oakcrest. If you do not have a first period class, please use the next period you have available to help decorate your door in the spirit of Halloween. We encourage everyone to get involved and, also, and go all out this year, but there's a few things that you need to know. Keep it appropriate with your theme. No weapons or anything too gruesome. And use discretion when hanging things around your door or window. Please do not cover your window completely. Additionally, when securing the paper or your items to the door, the only adhesive you're allowed to use this year is masking tape. The other adhesives will leave a residue that become hard to remove from doors. But there are a few rules that you have to follow. It is Halloween related and you cannot cover the window and you can only use masking tape. Also, make sure you keep it school appropriate. Have a fun and safe time decorating your doors. The top 10 doors will be judged and recognized by the student council on Halloween. And two others they have in work are a pumpkin de decorating contest and a pumpkin carving contest. Pumpkins, 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 pumpkins. Homecoming is approaching and the advisors want everyone to know the following. It will take place on November 18th in the cafeteria. The price is $20 and ticket sales started yesterday. Permission slips can be obtained outside of Ms. Kaminash's room 213 and Dr. Clark's room 232. Students have to be clear of the obligations and the detentions in order to purchase a ticket. We now head to Nigo for sports news. The volleyball team recently held their senior night, and with a new tradition too. Seniors picked staff members who impacted their life while at Oakcrest. The staff members who were honored before the, before the game were Ms. McGill, Ms. Rebecca from the Teen Center, Mr. Prince, Ms. Dell, and Mrs. Trinukas. In girls tennis, Oakcrest improves to 14-6 with their victory over Middle Township. Saloni Garg won her second singles for the Falcons, and Lada Dukanai won their third singles. In girls soccer, the coaches tournament was great for the Falcons, as they upset a King's Way in the first round of the South Jersey Association tournament. Standouts to Haley Whitcraft scoring the game-winning goal. This is the first win and appearance in the tournament for the Falcons. They move on to the quarterfinals and improve the 12-1-2. and two. If interested in going to explore Greece and Italy, then you'll need to attend the meeting tonight at 6.30 in room 314. See Mrs. Kramer with the questions. In girls soccer, Hannah Kershaw has been a bright spot in the category. The rare freshman to start at center midfield and to help starting and to help string position from a back line to include four-year sweeper Haley Whitcraft and fellow senior Alexa Domino, who is excellent on the back line. Hannah is up for a special nomination, but it's up to us at Oakcrest to help her win by voting now and often on NJ.com. Congratulations to Band, winning with a score of 94.8 and best music and visual and general effect. Nice job. Also, good job to the Falcon cheer team for winning their competition held on Sunday. October is almost over, and once November is here, things really begin to zip by. There are a whole lot of events taking place in November, and sign-ups or permission slips are outside of rooms 209 and 230 for this year's Powder Puff game. Junior and senior boys and girls can participate. Boys are cheerleaders and girls are playing versus Gammy on November 20. Tryouts are this Thursday, the 26th, and this Friday, the 27th, held after school. So for everyone here at FTV, thanks for watching and have a great day.